From the time we wake up, does money buy happiness? And throughout the day, we are bombarded with investment advice. Radio, newspapers, newsletters, books, lots of books. And of course, TV. So, who's right and who's wrong? And there are plenty of stock picking gurus ready to spew their advice. What stock shall I buy today? Maybe no more flamboyant than... Hey, that's a vacationing booyah, my friend. Jim Cramer. Booyah! Yeah. Oh, booyah. For an hour every business day, this high-strung stock picker on CNBC isn't afraid to tell investors what to buy and sell. Hey, you just say the name of the stock. I tell you whether to buy it or sell it. Punctuated with his trademark phrase... Booyah! Fabulous booyah. Very, very spirited. Very spirited. Booyah. Jim Palladino is a follower. I'm the Kramer addict. Booyah. He watches with his laptop, ready to make an internet trade. Meanwhile, thousands of others are doing the same thing, figuring Kramer, a former and very successful hedge fund manager, has already done the homework for them. As soon as I hear a stock, I usually type in the symbol. Ah, right, I, I own CVS. I think it definitely grew into an obsession. Even his kids think daddy's over the top. We have to go to another room where my dad watched Jim's Kramer. It's funny. This is one he really used to like. He's admitted to pulling some hair trigger trades without researching the company's financials. It got so bad. So I just felt like my husband was having an affair with Jim Kramer and was ignoring me. And that's when I had to step in. After a year of reading Kramer's books and following his tips. I have found that most of his recommendations are worth it. I've, I've, I've got stuck with a couple of dogs, but at the same time, I uh, have made some good money off of some of his recommendations. And it's opened my eyes to other stocks as well. He's up 5% on Kramer's picks. That still didn't beat the market average. And those dogs? Yeah, I, I yelled something other than booyah. We're not picking on Jim Kramer, as you might think. But you should be picky about your favorite stock picker. After tracking newsletters of stock picking gurus for 16 years, business writer Mark Hilbert tells me you have an 80% chance of losing money on these picks compared to investing that same money into the Standard & Poor's 500, a major bellwether stock market index. The reason? People don't know when to get out. So it got me thinking, what's better? Invest $500 on five Jim Cramer stock buys picked totally at random? Or took that $500 to Vegas? I feel like betting on some NBA games at the Red Rock Sportsbook. So what I have is Kramer's picks from a year ago today and tonight's NBA basketball games. So I like... I randomly there. picked five companies with no prior knowledge on how they performed. And then I picked five NBA games at random. All right, 100 on the Charlotte Bobcats. And tried to beat the point spread on, uh, set by NBA. odds maker Art Manteras. We're not saying they're going to win the game by three points. We are saying that we expect to or at least hope to get balanced two-way betting dollars at that point spread. The results? If I held Kramer's picks for one year, I would have lost $152. My Vegas bets yielded a $70 profit. Now we're doing this just to prove a point that no matter what you put your money in, you've got to do your research. Don't rely on a point spread or some guru's stock picks. Research will always improve the odds. Booyah, Jim Kramer.